Hello there, you're watching The World Today. I'm Kasturi Manikan. Our top story this hour, China has launched the core module of its space station. A long March 5B rocket carried the core module named Tianhe from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site in South China's Hainan province a few hours ago. Tianhe is currently the largest spacecraft developed by China. It will be the management and control center of the nation's space station and the main living space of the crew. It will also support scientific and technological experiments. Chinese President Xi Jinping has congratulated the launch of the Tianhe Core Module launch mission. He says its success signifies a key stage in the construction of China's self-developed space station. He says the launch lays a solid foundation for follow-up tasks. President Xi also says he hopes it will carry forward the spirit of the two bombs, one satellite project, referring to when China developed nuclear bombs, a ballistic missile and an artificial satellite during the 1960s and 1970s. He also hopes the launch will give a push to manned spaceflight and the spirit of self-dependency and innovation. We will bring you more stories on the launch of Tianhe Core Module later in the show, so stay tuned for that. Going back to our top story, China's Space Authority held a press conference uh, this morning on the launch of Tianhe Core Module. For more, let's uh, bring in our reporter Ning Hong in Wenchang. Ning Hong, what did officials have to say? Well, first of all, today's success is really a milestone, man. First of all, it's the rocket. Uh, there are over a thousand uh, institutions that have joined the uh, effort to build this uh, rocket and also the space station. And first of all, the rocket uh, has developed has developed some really uh, important technology. It adopted a one half stage rocket that aims to send heavy equipment into space and take this uh, Tianhe Core Module, for example, is uh, is over 22.5 tons, really heavy, and the rocket. Uh, has four boosters and also one core stage uh, to send this 22-town 22 22 town core module into space with one burn. So you can, you can see that how accurate this is. And also in the meantime, uh, well, the, the living conditions uh, for as Chinese astronauts in the future in this space station are greatly improved. And uh, from what we learned that uh, astronauts will have uh, facilities uh, to uh, to uh, heat food and also uh, water facilities as well as uh, uh, fitting, fitting equipments. And uh, also the oxygen are recovered and uh, uh, carbon dioxide are handled. So uh, they will have mu much bigger place for them to stay. Uh, there will be three astronauts uh, co constantly staying in orbit in this uh, core module. Uh, and uh, now the China space uh, station now entered the uh, construction uh, f construction phase. So um, after this, uh, China will send uh, Tianzhou cargo ship to the space station and to bring supplies for astronauts. And uh, uh, in June, there will be three astronauts uh, send sending up uh, to the core module. They will stay there for three months. Uh, well, before every launch, uh, there will be a cargo ship and then uh, astronauts crew. They will stay for three months or uh, six months in the future, and during that time, their job uh, includes uh, transporting cargo uh, supplies from the cargo ship, or uh, handling the robotic arms, uh, keeping uh, keeping the uh, space station in good condition, and including spacewalks. So after that, the space station will enter the third phase, that's application and also development. Uh, it will be as long as 10 years, and with proper repairment or replacements, uh, the, the space station will be uh, the, the lifespan of space station will be further expanded to uh, over 10 years time. And now, uh, both the Tianzhou cargo ship and the uh, Shenzhou manned spaceship are all in launch sites. Uh, they are uh, they are uh, they are testing these ships, and they are ready to launch. And also, in the meantime, crews, four crews of new uh, space uh, astronauts are now. Uh, training as well. So this is what we learned from this press conference. A historic day for China indeed. Thank you, Ning Kong, for that extensive report. Currently, there's only one international space station. China has no access, having been barred involvement by the United States over what it calls issues of national security. 
Wu Lei explains why China is building its own space station. Here on Earth, an apple will fall due to gravity's influence, but in outer space, it floats like this. But how might this apple mutate in a microgravity environment? What might happen when an astronaut eats this apple? China has sent 11 astronauts into space since 2003. During their time in space, the astronauts have carried out a variety of experiments, but the time for each visit was limited. China is aiming to remedy this by building a brand new space station by the end of 2022 which is expected to remain in space for over 10 years, allowing astronauts who spend time there to engage in longer physical, biological, and cosmological experiments. As for experiments, Chinese scientists are interested in growing plants. These flowers and vegetables were grown from seeds mutated in space. The effects of living in space are also of concern for scientists. Knowing how to guarantee the ability for astronauts to have a healthy long-term stay in space could pave the way for future space travel. China's new space station won't just be for Chinese scientists, but also for global scientists as well. So far, a total of nine projects proposed by 17 countries, including Germany, France, and Italy, have been selected for the first round of experiments to be conducted in this new space lab. This new facility is expected to open up a brand new chapter in human space exploration. Wu Lei, CGTN. In an exclusive interview with CGTN, Hao Chun, the director of China Manned Space Engineering Office, says foreign astronauts and global cooperation on scientific experiments are welcome in China's space station once it begins operations in 2022. <laughs> Since the implementation of the project, we have carried out extensive exchanges with a large number of national and regional space agencies, such as Deutsche Aerospace, the Italian Space Agency, Aerospatiale, and Pakistan Space Agency. We and the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs carried out cooperation on applications concerning the use of China's space station. We signed an agreement. In the early stage, we jointly selected the first batch of projects to collaborate on. There are now nine projects to be participated in by 17 countries who have officially confirmed their participation in scientific experiments in China's space station. In the future, there will surely be foreign astronauts participating in China's space flight, working and living on our space station. In addition, some foreign astronauts are already participating in Chinese flights and are already learning Chinese. <laughs> 